You might remember a while ago, I did a little video on this tape, Digimon, Volume 1. However, recently, in my travels, I have found Volume 3. Don't think I'm trying to mess with you, I don't have Volume 2 at this moment, but maybe it'll show up eventually. So I figured I'd show the front off, the side. I wonder why they focus on Sora and Biumon for this one. <laughs> Whatever. And there's the price tag. I was trying to be subtle about it before, but now I'll be in your face about it. <laughs> in the back. You'll notice that the pictures have changed compared to Volume 1. You'll notice that there's only two pictures here. In this time, there's three. Each one for each individual episode. It's interesting that both seem to use the same stock imagery, but if you look really closely, you'll notice that the images don't line up exactly. For example, TK's over here, but instead it's Koromon over here. However, Kabuterimon seems to be in the same spot, even if the colors are different. I do kind of like that they may have went with a sort of stock look but they changed it up slightly to not make it seem that stale. Now one thing I don't understand is clearly it says Volume 1 here. However, there's no such thing here, and it doesn't say it on the side either. See, it says Volume 1 there. It says nothing there. This is where Volume 2 would go if I had it. And another thing to point out, it could be just me, but I feel like they almost hired a different cover artist. I don't know what it is, but there's just something that seems off here. As if, like, uh, some in-house illustrator drew this, as opposed to somebody from Taui Animation, if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Well, I'm not going to show all three episodes, but I figure I'll show you the first few minutes or so, especially of Ikakuman's Harpoon Torpedo. Cause that's a pretty good episode, in my opinion. One thing I just noticed before we begin. You'll see that the tapes are slightly different. For Volume 1, you'll notice that it's a very high-gloss sticker that's on the front here. For Volume 3, you'll see that it's painted on. In fact, I find it weird that the tape itself is labeled, but not the case. Eh, whatever. Maybe they just wanted to reduce cost or something, I don't know. Pop this tape in the old VCR, and give it a go. Hopefully that'll be loud enough. I want my volume one, there actually are commercials on this one, so I figure I'll show that off as well. Well, it's only one commercial, but you'll see in a moment. You'll also notice that this tape is a lot less beat up than the last one. I don't know, I get these things Coming used. to the big screen! Digimon, the movie! Fall 2000! At a theater near you! Just missed it. Well, this uh, theme song is still under copyright protection, so I'm gonna fast forward. And besides, those that have seen the original Japanese version probably hate this one as well. Whoops. Let me go back a little more. There. I know this is no day at the beach, Joe. That's no reason to be a worry word about and make all your friends unhappy. Pardon the pun, but chill out. Only you have a problem with the cold. Right, guys? Everyone, think warm. Uh, I'm allergic to fur. Uh, come on, you guys. The cold isn't that terrible. Perhaps not if you're a polar bear or a penguin. Yeah, but and if it's snow, we'll throw some snowballs. Except for Matt and Sora, they're both what wearing pants. Snowman is? A Digimon from their planet. It's difficult to explain. Well, if it's edible, count me in. No, the best thing about snowballs <laughs> is that you can throw them at each other. It's a fun game that we play in the winter months. You throw food? 
We could even build a snow fort. You'll need one. I bet I could beat you both blindfolded. I want to build an igloo. I'll help. I like how they take this episode to really focus on Joe. I like it when they have an episode like that. Come on, get serious. It would be horrible if it started snowing right now. Lighten up a little, Joe. We're just trying to look on the positive side of things. Bleh. Hey, Ty, when's it gonna snow? Probably any second now. Right on Joe's head. That would be so funny. I can't wait to see his face. You know, if the temperature drops any lower than it is already, we won't be able to camp out anymore. We'll be frozen digitreats. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead and laugh. But when your tootsies freeze, don't go crying to me. I'll just say I told you so. It is always better to be safe than sorry. Think first. Hm. What's that? It does kind of make a lot of it's sense. No, there's bound to be a ski resort nearby. It's kind of hard oh, to man. tell if this, this being is black and white now, I isn't it? it was. What now, guys? I think we should keep going. We're not going to get anywhere just sitting here. <laughs> if you walk across the field in our sneakers, our toes will go numb. It's impossible to continue. So what are we supposed to do? Just stand here like a bunch of dorks? We either go I like how Mimi and TK just don't mountain. care at all. Oh, Wait a sec. I think there's a weird odor in the air. I do believe he's right. What could it be? Very uh, British terminology. Like. Here in the States, we just They're say smell. Huh? It's steam. She's right. But what's it coming from? A big geyser. Knowing all they've been through, you think Joe would just be like, it's probably a dragon or something. Especially seeing how worry warded he was before. Uh oh. This water's much too hot. We'd be cooked if we jumped in this. Yes, spoiled. Well, there go my big dreams of a nice warm bath. It looks so inviting. Well, it would be inviting if you were a vegetable. What's a little dirt compared well, to starving? She kind of is a vegetable. To eat and there's nothing in sight. Oh, yes, there is. What are you talking about? There's nothing here but a bunch of rocks and boiling water. Look it! Huh? Tell me I'm not imagining this. Huh? Yeah! It's for real! Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. What would a refrigerator be doing <laughs> way out here? <laughs> hey, where there's a fridge, there's grub. No way, that's well, not they had a uh, random beverage machines in season two. I don't really think that's I a... want hot cocoa. What's that? Come on already. Let's see what's in there. There must be a zillion of them. Yeah, grub on. These will keep us all fat for a month. Wait a minute. You shouldn't even touch them. We don't know if they're fit for human consumption. Then I'll be the guinea pig. If I turn purple, you'll know they're not edible. There's more to it than that. Even if they were edible, they don't belong to us. That'd make us all thieves. You've got to think about stuff like that, Ty. Unless you're into eating rocks, we don't have too much choice. I'm sure they'd say yes if they knew we were in trouble. Exactly. We'd tell them it's an emergency situation. Rationalize away. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of with Tentamon on this one. Nationalize right away. Huh? 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 What was Gobblemon hey, doing? Are just scraping wait. his claws out? Hey, come on, man. How are those chopsticks coming? Hurry, we want to eat. Sorry, this just makes me feel uncomfortable. We'd be in big trouble if someone got sick. No doctors, you know. Why do I always have to be the one to think about these things? Trey Gourmet, it's your turn next time. Go on, dig in. Oh yeah, Looks I haven't like had a meal like this in a eggs. long time. My stomach's chiming. If we had some ketchup to go with this, it would be perfect. Mmm, I love ketchup and eggs. That sounds pretty gross to me. What's the matter, Joe? You haven't eaten anything. Huh? Oh, I was just thinking that if we were able to go home, ketchup wouldn't be a problem. Oh well. Mmm. Oh, now I'm homesick. Depressing. You're right. Now I want to go home. It's been four days since we've been here. I wonder if anyone's tried to find out where we are. Cheer up. Tell me how you like your eggs and I'll try to do my very best. I prefer my eggs to be covered in salt and pepper, but I guess it doesn't matter. I like soy sauce. How about salsa? How about a reality check? I'll have mine with mustard and jelly beans, please. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was TK and I like the mustard and jelly beans. That sounds good. Oh, he does. Weird. My favorite is eggs topped with maple syrup. Yummy. Sometimes I like them with cherries on top. That's weird. But I bet it's good. <laughs> As TK says, this, he's about to hold back what? his throw up. You're making me completely lose my appetite. I just like plain eggs. I wish we could talk about something other than egg recipes. Don't 
Don't be so hard on yourself. They're just having fun. Come on, join the party. I think it's really too late for him. I think Joe thinks we've gone a little crazy over these eggs. Well, really, jelly beans and cherries on eggs. That's just crazy talk. Salt and pepper's all they need. Keep it simple. That's always been my motto. I'm afraid Joe's just not the kind of guy that's meant to be adaptable. Just what do you mean? Let's face it, Joe, you're kind of a stick in the mud if you get my drift. I'm just practical. I feel like they're just you're perfect stopping. for each other. It never Someone fails. has to have a Here they go again. You want to fight? today, Joe. You're a basket case. I am just trying to be careful. Unlike the rest of you weirdos, I'm telling you, you're all asking for trouble. <laughs> I've got to be the cautious one around here. As he's throwing rocks into boiling water. I have to. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Because it's way too dangerous. There's no place else to go. We have no choice. Look, before we do something foolish, we should think it over a little more. You're just a big old chicken. Hey, That's everybody, what what's all the ruckus about? I Why are Matt and I fighting? You are too. It's just their nature. Uh, it gets worse when the fish start flying. Infinity Mountain, which is way up over there. That's practically up to the sky. Infinity Mountain's a doozy. That's for sure. It's the perfect spot. We gotta climb up there. It's the best view of the island. You've got to admit, he's got a point there. That's not how Matt sees it. Nobody would make it up that peak. It's much too big of a gamble. He might be right, Joe. There could be lots of evil Digimon up that peak. Hmm, that's not good. That wouldn't be worth the risk. Come on, Matt. Don't be a wimp. We won't get anywhere if we just stand around talking. Put your fist down huh? when you talk to me and stop acting like you can just bully your way into being the leader. What do you say? Knock it off, you guys. Chill out. Now look here. Calm down. Let's be sensible. So what's your opinion about this, Joe? Huh? Yeah, Joe, tell us who's right, fire. me or Matt. Uh, um, well, I think Ty's right about going up that peak. If we went up there, we'd be able to see the landscape of the island a lot better. See, Matt? Hold on. Matt brought up a real good point about the danger. It'd be kind of dumb to lead everybody up to a place we don't know anything about. It wouldn't be safe. Hmm. Sounds like Joe should have been a politician on, instead of a doctor. Up the mountain. That's <laughs> stupid. We can't protect ourselves out there. Stop it now. You're both making me a nervous wreck. Just give me a chance to think. Don't be difficult. What? You are the most difficult person I ever met. Hey, I am trying to make a decision here, so don't interrupt me. You're just a big old chicken, Matt. Ty, you better take that back. Enough already. You're giving me a I'm headache. Talking to you three. Now grow up. We have to decide what to do. Besides, it's gonna get dark soon. I think we ought to get a little shut out. There will be plenty of time to argue later. First of all, we need to find a good place to sleep. Let's head for the cave. Yeah, it's been warm in there. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's gonna get hurt if I don't do something fast. But how? I couldn't even stop the fight. Instead, I got involved myself. I wasn't too smart. If I'm responsible for everyone's safety, then I have to protect them. Their lives depend on me. I'll do it. I've always been good at climbing. I've got the best chance of making it to the top. Whoa there! What are you up to, Joe? Joe, you're not gonna climb that mountain by yourself, are you? Go, Mama? Yep. Forgot me already? Why don't you go get some sleep? Not happening. Yes, it is. I don't think so. Hmm. You're not going, so quit following me around. I'm not. You see, I have some business to take care of up there. Everything doesn't revolve around you. Fine, then. Sometimes I just have to trick them. Did you just say something? Uh, yeah, a nice night for a walk. You're nuts. What's so bad about that? I sure have more fun. That is a good point. Infinity Mountain is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Are you ready to quit? We can turn around. Of course not. I can give you a hand. They just bounce off of each other so well. Oh, do you call that a hand? Watch it. I was kidding. Lighten up. Huh? 
What's wrong? I think you actually have a sense of humor. What? Well, maybe not. Let's go. Could be David. I feel like this trek's probably far harder on Gobo Mom than it is for Joe. Well. Thanks. Oh, I'm ready to take a rest. Well, it looks to me like we're halfway there. We make quite a team. Actually, we do. Oh, that's just great. A flying horse wearing a mask. This can't be good. That's not your everyday Is kind it of because flying of a horse. Mask? That's Unimon. He's a wise old Digimon. I never knew he lived in these mountains. He's not much of a talker. Hide. Unimon's very gentle. We don't have to hide from him. Your information hasn't always been reliable. Cold but true. He must be coming <laughs> down to have a drink. Mm. I guess that's his watering hole. See, I told you he was a nice Digimon. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Wow, what a beautiful looking horse. Maybe Unimon will tell us what we need to know. Then we could go back to our Gomamon? friends. Gomamon? Hello, Unimon. It's me, Gomamon. It's been a long time since we... I'm just wondering, when has he ever had the chance to see Unimon before? I hear something. Out there. Huh? Ah, early 2000 CG effects. Even if it's around 99. Can't you see a joke? Oh no! It's a black gear! I think there was a similar message to that in the outside is a pony boy I think left behind. It's been a while since I read that book. Seems like the camera speeds up a little more at times like that. Say Digivolve 2, not into. I wonder if that's in other versions as well. Raymon, are you gonna be alright? I'm styling, dude. Oh no, he's going after Sora. Sora! Oh. 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 Gear! The gear! I'll get it. Huh? This is crazy! Oh. Oh. Come on now! It'd be kind of an interesting plot twist to say the gear possessed the Joe just like know, the union. But I just have to do this one thing. I'm not gonna stop until it's done. Oh, oh, I have to think positive. I'm responsible. I've gotta do it. Edramon and Naromon apologized for almost killing him. He just ran away. That was a really close call. Good job. That's what I call pulling it together. Come on, everyone. We're almost there. Let's go all the way up to the top. All right. I knew we could do it. Yay! Yeah, all right. 
don't know where the rest of the group is. Not much out there. They're still sleeping. So Gullamon and I fought all the way to the top to see what was there. And we found, well, nothing. But I think we discovered quite a bit on the way up. That's quite a good way to end the episode. Wonder when the this crep place could really use a good huh? bus system. Well, that actually makes sense. I mean, why did they play the credits at the end of each episode on Volume 1, but not here? In fact, it almost makes it seem more continuous this way. See, it's a new episode. I figured that'd be the best place to end it. Perhaps I'll find some of the other volumes along the way. The one I'm the most interested in finding is The Prisoners of the Pyramid. At least I think that's what it would be called. You'll notice that some of the later ones have like a title. This one is Beware of the Black Gears. Since Volume 1 was the first, it didn't really have a little title there. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep having fun.